I feel like in your line of work, you must see it way more than than the average person, right? Because even though it's normalized in the environment that you grow up in, you know, the inner city, it's not really something that should be normalized, right? Like it, it's not nor it's not a normal thing that you should be hearing gunshots or seeing people die in front of you, knowing people that you know, that go through this stuff, right? You know, just like all of that stuff, you shouldn't, it shouldn't be normalized, but it is. And I feel like so many people in the inner city have like undiagnosed PTSD. By far, it's not even normalized. You know what's abnormal? When you see the mother come in, when you see the brother that wants to retaliate, that's when you really see how 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 hard and how hurtful the situation has become. When you see that mother yell out a, a yelch, not even a scream, a yelch that echoes through your whole body. And it's all because of how society is today that we're not teaching. Remember the old, old dusty niggas is old and dusty. So they, so that means their brains is foggy. So that you think you can't learn nothing from an old dusty nigga, nigga? You can learn a lot from an old dusty nigga. He dusty because he already seen it all. He's, he, he left it. But you don't want to learn from the old dusty, so you want to dust it with your chest wide open, your fucking body is blue, your mother's crying. Your brother wants to kill the world. Your sister over there, your baby mother with the baby, and your man's just starting to drink and smoke in front of the hospital and put your shirt, your name, put your face on a shirt. It's the only memory they're going to have of you. Come on, man. Fuck out of here. My man, I don't want that memory. My, memories, my memory with you should be a great memory, like the memories I have of my brothers that both died. I had great memories of Pine. Joe, DMX Cuban. The Cuban is a smart guy, dog. Niggas know that. Niggas see me walking down the street. First thing, like, what's up with Cuban? He good. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, no, no, that's crazy. Niggas don't even sometimes just say, what's up with the Gilly? Like, yo, what up, Gilly? Like, like yo, yo, what up, Gilly? Yo, what up with Cuban? He good money, dog. I love that nigga. I, you already know it. People don't even see me sometimes. They see him. And them industry niggas, they damn sure see him when they see me. Them industry niggas see me, the first thing they do, oh, that nigga that held down Cuban lane. That nigga Cuban, that nigga that we love Cuban. Yeah, so what I did, nigga, what happened? I did. What happened? I did. Nobody else did. <laughs> Nobody else did. So would you say that when Cuban got blackballed, that you were blackballed by Guilty by Association, in a way? Yeah, but it comes with it. Expect it. You expect that. <laughs> you expect that. You know, you try to show that, like, your bro, like, you know, it, it, it could possibly be fixed, but you know, guilty by association, I'll take it. I went down, I went down with the team. I didn't sell out. Pun put me on. Pun gave me my chance. Joe gave me a chance as well. But Pun gave me my chance. Cuban gave me my chance. I'm honorable, bro. I, I ain't loyal to the dollar. I'm loyal to the person. And I was loyal to Joe. As well as much as I'm loyal to Cuba, I was loyal to the situation. I want to see the team win. We the Lakers. I want to see the Lakers win every year. At least make the playoffs every year. We won a championship and then the team was dismantled because we lost the Jordan of rap. Big pun. The Jordan of rap. 